Get out of here. Get 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 out of here. <laughs> hey everybody. My name is Mark and I'm the founder of High Bear. And this is the all day adventure flask. Uh, we call it the Swiss Army tool of insulated bottles. But uh, yeah, welcome today. It's gonna be a super fun day. I'm just gonna set down the laptop here. What is going on? How is everybody doing? Again, my name is Mark. I'm the founder over at High Bear. This is the Swiss Army tool of insulated bottles. You can craft all your favorite beverages from cold brew to cocktails, yet it's simple enough that you can use as your everyday anywhere water bottle. We got a really exciting day um, for you all today. We're gonna make weekend coffee. We're gonna do a product drop, our newest limited edition. Um, we're gonna do some trivia. Um, we're gonna do a walkthrough of the adventure flask today. And I think um, we got a coupon code posted in the chat on the right hand side for 20% off um, any merchandise or accessories at highbearoutdoors.com. So you can head there right now to highbearoutdoors.com, um, pick up your very own adventure flask. And if you end up using that coupon code, um, let us know back here in the chat. And uh, I think we have a little something for you. I think we have some, some awesome sticker pack that we'll, we'll send out to you. But before we get started, um, I want to introduce today um, our head of marketing and our moderator today. And you'll probably hear her chime in every once in a while. This is Julie Bacon, everybody. Julie. What's up, everybody? We're the new kids on the block. So <laughs> thanks for supporting small business. Yeah. And hi there. Awesome. Woo! Yeah. So what's up, Kershna? Kersha? What's up, Sammy? How's it going, Lisa? Yeah, what's happening? So let's just get right into it. Um, let's talk a little bit about High Bear and like where it came from. So I'm a U.S. Navy veteran. I spent some time in East Africa where it is super, super hot. Um, and believe it or not, that was like the first time I ever had an insulated bottle. And they were really like black magic out there. Um, it was great to have really cold water on a 110 degree day. Um, and also did some backpacking in, in South America, um, really learned the value of you know carrying less and everything on your back and stuff that did more, you really put a premium on. And so that's really kind of where like all the different ideas like sat within our, our psyche when we were developing the all day adventure flask and, and thus was born here, yes. Um, who do we got there? Alex, what's up? Yeah, it looks awesome, man. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, so let's let's get into it. So as flask to lid, double wall stainless steel insulation. Um, so that's you know pretty pretty standard. But this isn't your average water bottle, right? Um, and in fact, in some cases, it's not a water bottle at all. Um, it has a sleeve, a silicon sleeve on the bottom to help protect from small drops, which is also removable. So it doubles as a mug for friends with two legs or four. Um, so you know if you're just you're going out for a hike with your furry friend. Like, he's thirsty too, you gotta hook him up, right? Or if you just got a coffee uh, concoction in here, just share a little bit of what you got, you know? Um, but you'll notice that as soon as I remove the sleeve, every one of our bottles supports independent artists. Um, this is our Dawn Patrol bottle. Um, so it takes you, I'm gonna try to get rid of that reflection back up a little bit, a little bit of a bear there, and then there's your Starry Night. Um, this one is by Garrett Effa, um, and you can check that out at High Bear outdoors.com as well. Um, and obviously like there's a little bit of foreshadowing here to my right. Um, so we're gonna show you how we're gonna go from this, oh wait, this to this um, in just a little bit. But yeah, so it has all the advantages of a narrow mouth without the bottle brush. It was really important that it was really easy to drink to when you're using it as your everyday water bottle. But it was also, critical that it was easy to clean. So the lid comes off um, and so you can access everything inside which makes it super easy to clean. And the first thing you notice is the cocktail shaker. I'll kind of show you how beautiful that is. All those little slats strain out any sort of nectar that you have in there. Um, and so yeah, think about like if you're just making up any sort of adult concoction, cocktail or mocktail, you're headed to that 4th of July barbecue, you can make that beforehand bring it out there, and then you're just wandering around the party just like, dur, 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 you know, who wants some of this? It's awesome. <laughs> um, there's also a 12 ounce, 130 micron stainless steel filter. That's perfect for cold brew, tea, and infusions. So Julie is like the queen of cold brew. 
Julie, how do you like your cold brew? Yeah, I'm a cold brew addict. Yeah. Uh, proud to admit it. I make it with oat milk, coconut oil, mushroom powder. It's a it's a meal. <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. Like, and th that's the thing. like once you get all that in here, you just cap it and you can shake it. And shaking coffee or whatever it is that you're doing is the best way to enjoy any beverage. Like, you know, the stirring is kind of a thing of the past, or at least here at Hybra, we just really put a value on like the frothy awesomeness of, of a beverage. Um, and so when you remove that stainless steel filter, the next thing you'll notice is the thermal core. And the thermal core keeps your colds colder without diluting them with ice. So think about like if you're bringing a bottle of wine to the beach, you're not gonna bring a glass to the beach. Don't be that person, you know, it's just kind of dangerous. You're like, oh, be careful. And then you know, accidents happen. But so you put your bottle of wine in here, put this in there and keep your colds colder without doing, diluting with ice, which is also cool about it. It doubles as a muddle. Um, so nobody travels with a muddle, but if you have your adventure flask with you, it's so easy to just, you know, just smash up some limes or some mint. Um, even if you're just doing like a water infusion, just to get more of that wonderful, just those, those wonderful flavors in there. Um, so that's the, the thermal core there. And then, you know, everything nests neatly inside. So there's, there's no clutter. Um, and, and then all you do is just, you invert your lid like this, you connect it to the center and you're gonna do pour over coffee. And so we recommend using a V60 filter, um, which is one of, one of these guys right here. And you can use like one of the basket filters too. This is just like what we prefer um, to just make really good pour over coffee. Um, but before we get into making super great pour over coffee, um, my name's Mark. Uh, if you're just joining us today, I'm the founder over at High Bear, and uh, this is the Swiss Army tool of insulated bottles where you can craft all your favorite beverages from cold brew to cocktails. We built this for the campground, but it is still really awesome to use on your kitchen counter. So even if you're a stay-at-home cat or an indoor cat and not an outdoor cat, we made this for you too. So. Super awesome. I think we got some questions though. We've got some questions. Sweet. Uh, Johnny wants to know, is the bottle difficult to clean? Heck no, man. Uh, we made it easy to clean. Um, so you can go from coffee to, to cocktails. Um, we actually have a, a special polish on the inside. We call it, it's an electro polish. So during the manufacturing process, when they kind of stamp out the shape and everything, um, there's all the little burrs. And so those all those little burrs are removed. It makes a really nice, uh, clean, non-porous surface, um, which also makes it really easy to clean. So awesome question, Johnny. Shout out to, uh, I think we got Ryan Cooney in the house. Look at this guy. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um, Anthony wants to know, any special coupons today? Heck yeah. So we posted a coupon code um, for 20% off all High Bear accessories um, and merchandise. So you can head to highbearoutdoors.com. Um, pick up your very own adventure flask. And if you use that coupon code, head back here, let us know in the chat. Um, I think we're gonna throw some some stickers your way um, as well. So super cool. And we have another question. Do all the all the adventure flasks do the same thing? Yes, they all do the same thing. All the all the, all day adventure flasks are complete with all the features that we're showing you today. The differentiation between um, limited edition or our seven summit series that you see over here is just around um, the artist that it supports and and the colors. So great question. And Super one cool. more, we've got a, does everything come with the bottle or do you have to buy everything as add-ons? No, everything comes with the bottle. Um, we do sell a couple of accessories. Um, one is a sleeve expansion pack. So you can change the look of your adventure flask, but also if you're you know out with three of your friends, um, now you have extra silicone sleeves that you can kind of serve up and that comes in a, a a nylon ripstop bag. And then we also have an accessory bag. And the accessory bag is just, you know, if you are just want a safe place to stow your accessories when you're not using those internal components, you can just stow that in a nice dry bag and tuck it away into your bag. Or if you just made some cold brew and you don't want to like dump the grounds on the on the ground, you just put it in the dry bag, put it in your backpack and you're and you're good to go. So oh also um what do you guys think of my hat? I think it's pretty cool. This is the uh, Sierra Sippin um, mustard yellow hat that's uh, available at highbearoutdoors.com as well. So um, yeah, let's, one more question. One more. Sweet. Bettina, Bettina wants to know, are you planning on launching different sizes? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, 
do you think we should launch different sizes? <laughs> We're definitely toying with the idea. Uh, but if, if you guys think that it's a fantastic idea, um, it's definitely something that, that, we'll, that we'll explore in the future for sure. So yeah, these are all so solid questions and, and keep them coming. Um, I'm going to start doing some weekend coffee here. What is weekend coffee? Weekend coffee is something that you can't drink every day of the week because you'll spend, you have to spend a lot of time in the gym to kind of cancel it out because it's all about debits and credits. You got to kind of keep the body moving and you just jam too much sugar into the system. You're going to slow down. So this is uh, like three scoops of coffee. I mean, you can measure it out. Um, but, you know, especially like when you're on the go, you're just, you just want to, you know, get it done. So you can put as much or as little as you want. Um, you know, we say just kind of fill it up. And I don't know if you can see how much coffee is in there versus how high, but it's about like a half an inch from, from the, uh, the top of the rim there. And you want to give enough room for the bloom to, to blossom, you know, to, to kind of run its course. Um, but I'm going to grab a night hike over here. And uh, this is where I have uh, just the, the hot water. And I'll also show you the graphic underneath for the Seven Summit so you guys can see that. And this takes you on a trip for the seven tallest summits around the world. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, in love. That's right, Coney. Heck yeah. Lisa, what do you think? Yeah, I know. Muted yellow is super cool. Thank you. Yeah. So we're going to do the first edition and just to kind of get the coffee grounds going. And this is going to be like a little bit of rocket fuel. Um, so we're going to be doing an under extraction, which just means that we're not going to add like a bunch of water. We're just going to add a moderate amount of water. So that you know, the first stuff that comes out is like really like really thick, really caffeinated. Um, and that's what we want because we're going to add some other stuff in there in a little bit. And you'll see why we're going to call it weekend coffee because it's delicious. So I'm going to get this going on. I think maybe we want to get a close up, Julie. What do you think? Oh, let's do this. Yeah. There you go. Just, yeah. <laughs> yes. Awesome. So we're going to let that kind of like get mellow and just drain in there. So you can do this in any which way. Like, you know, you can measure it out. Like I know a lot of people just get super scientific about their, their coffee. Um, and that's totally cool. Um, there's probably not going to be much differentiation between like, you know, somebody who's like, you know, rushing coffee versus like, you know, somebody who's going to scale out and like, where well, I got my Bunsen burner here and I got my beaker over here and, you know, like whatever, you know, like that, if that's you like, cool. Like I get like that too. I got my scale at home and sometimes I nerd out. It's all good. Um, but you know, when you're, when you're on the go, like you need coffee now. Um, and this is a great way to do it. And especially like when you have the adventure flask, it's always there when, when you need it. You might use it 90% of the time as your everyday water bottle, but you know, when you want to do your pour over coffee, you know, once a day, it's there for you too. So that, that's super cool. So we're going to do one more addition. And I think like after we do that, um, maybe we answer some more questions. What do you think? Maybe do a product drop. Yeah. What do you guys think? What do you guys, you guys want to see the new limited edition? I think that's a good idea too. Tell us about sustainability. Ah, uh, <laughs> well, I think for starters, like that's what we do at our core. This is we want to build sustainable products um, through smart design for adventure travelers and people that love the outdoors. Um, and if that kind of sounds like you, then you know, then you know, this is something for you. But you know, we wanted to carry that even further. So we're also one percent for the planet, and we're climate neutral certified. So that means that we buy carbon credits to offset our carbon footprint. And we were one of the first thirty companies to, to join that initiative, and we're, we're really proud of that. Um, and we hope to keep that going because that's that's a big part of like who we are and what we do. Um, also, the adventure flask like eliminates a lot of like extra stuff that you need. Um, because it just does so much. And if you're into smaller living and the Marie condonization of, of your life, then you know this kind of like fits in really nice with that. Emily Dean, what's up? <laughs> so good to see you in here virtually in a chat room. Is that actually seeing somebody? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add this and we're gonna we're gonna do a product drop right about now. I'm just gonna slide this over. <laughs> because I have to tell you that I'm sliding over, right? All right, so this is our brand new limited edition to um, Sierra Sippin. And so like I said earlier, at every one of our um, insulated bottles, we, we pair up with an independent artist um, to do all of our under art. And so you can actually go check that out at highbearoutdoors.com. 
Um, we have a coupon code um, pinned in the chat right over here. And uh, that's for 20% off accessories um, and any merchandise like this fantastic hat right here. Um, and you can get that at hybridoutdoors.com. Come back here. Let us know that you use the coupon code. They were going to throw some stickers at you um, as well. So super cool. Um, so spoiler alert, I think that there is a Sierra Sippin right here underneath my arm. <laughs> so let's take a look. This is the Sierra Sippin. Um, so we partnered with Bryn Merrill, um, who's a, uh, a Reno truckie independent artist here. Um, and this color scheme is representative of the colors that you find out here between Lake Tahoe all the way out into um, Mount Whitney. So let me do the sleeve reveal here for you. Oh, that's so cool. So there you go. So you have Lake Tahoe on your right here. I think that's your right. If it's not, don't criticize. Uh, there's uh, Half Dome in Yosemite, Bridal Falls down here, and then all the way to Mount Whitney on the side. And so really like kind of the whole point and the philosophy is like really to give you a you know, want and reason to like um, remove the sleeve, share a little what you got, show off your artwork that's kind of like hidden below. Um, but you know, it's, it's also like a really cool thing to do. Mara Scully, the colors. <laughs> yeah, so we're really stoked to partner with Bryn um, in this collaboration. And uh, you can actually head to our YouTube channel too and like and subscribe there. We did a mini doc with, with Bryn about, you know, the conception of, of this bottle. Um, you know, I don't have a favorite bottle, but I think like every time like we come up with like a new design, like, you know, like new is cool. <laughs> We've got, uh, we've got a question for you. Cool, go ahead. How is the etching done? Oh, so this the etching on here on the, on the limited editions uh, is a little bit different than our Seven Summits. So this one has uh, the mountain print right above the logo. Um, and then those are lasered on. And how you know it's an LE2, it has that LE logo on the back. Um, and then the artwork is screen printed below. Um, so when you remove the sleeve, this is screened on there and then it's baked too so when you screen it you have to like have an ultra heating element to get it to bond with am i really nerding out right now is that okay oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah great great question but you can head to highbearoutdoors.com and you can check out the sierra sip in there um we're really excited about this bottle there's really nothing else out there like it um in the color scheme with the artwork um, never mind all the different functionality that, that it provides um, to your active lifestyle. So I'm just going to do the last edition here um, before we really get into the to the weekend coffee, um, which I'm sure you're like dying. Like, why is this weekend coffee again? Because you look like you're just making pour over. Do, 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 do. So do we have any other questions, Julie? So Google Small Business just asked what my favorite bottle is. Cool. And I'm telling them it's like choosing my favorite pet or kid. <laughs> But twist my arm. Uh, Sierra Sippin. Oh! Uh, gotta go with the LE2. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I, I love the simplicity of, of like, you know, the, the pow day um, and, you know, the, the artwork underneath. It's just, I don't know. I mean, like, it's, it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to say. So who else we got out there? How heavy is the bottle without any liquids? Cool. Mora? So Mora, it's a, uh, 820 grams or like a pound and a half. Um, yeah, so it's, 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 uh, yeah, it's not too bad. And then we've got another question. What's your favorite place you've taken this product? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think like, so that changes like day to day. And I'm sure like, if I, if I asked any of you, you'd probably, you know, say the same thing. But there's a place in Peru um, and it has the longest left in the world um, for surfing. And it's, it's called Chicama. And it's like a very sleepy village there. Um, you know, it's like blue-footed boobies everywhere. And um, it's kind of bird. Head out of the gutter. Come on. Um, yeah, and it's just so sleepy. And it's like you'll have the best bowl of pasta in your life there because if after you've like gone a whole day surfing, um, just anything tastes good. 
<laughs> but like, I just, I had dreams of going back there and, you know, bringing the adventure flask and just watching the sunset and shaking cocktails with a bunch of friends after a really long day. Um, and those are like the kind of moments that like really inspire like us to do what we do here at High Bear. So that's a fantastic question. Cool. So let's uh, get into finishing up this this weekend coffee here. So we've gone ahead, we've, we've made our pour over. There's a lot of great, great coffee in here. Let's just get rid of our grounds, right? We're gonna kind of move our lid to the side. Um, actually, I'm gonna bring this bowl back here, just get some drips. I'm gonna take out our... I'm gonna take out our platform here, or our cocktail shaker. And now the first thing that we wanna do with weekend coffee is we wanna add that sweetener. So I drink coffee sometimes like a five-year-old. So if that sounds like you, then like fine, but some, you know, coffee snobs out there will be like, ah, you don't actually drink coffee. I'm like, well, you know, I don't. <laughs> um, so you're just gonna add your sugar, boom. That's like 25 grams. Um, and then we're gonna add, after that, we're gonna add some, some milk. And I prefer to like warm it up. Um, and then what you're gonna do is we're gonna make weekend coffee. So we've got all these different components in there, but what makes weekend coffee weekend coffee is is you wanna drink coffee like, like a kid. So I think we have a special guest that's going to deliver the, the actual element of, of weekend coffee. Julie, have you seen the resident bear? Oh, <laughs> you know, I haven't. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> but, oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to take about some bunch of chocolate chips and then just to fill. And then you're going to take your lid and just make sure this is on all super nice. Oh, yeah. And you're just going to shake it up. Julie, want some of this? Oh, sure do. It's going to be delicious. And obviously, like, more you shake it up, just, like, better incorporated it's going to be. And you don't have to enjoy it, like, right now. You can just bring it to wherever you're going. Hey, Amanda, what's happening? Special Sunday treat. Yum, yum. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to pour this up. Oh my god, that smells delicious. So Johnny wants to know, where did you find this recipe? Is this a High Bear original? This is actually inspired by um, my trip to Mexico because you can get really good mocha coffee there. Um, and like obviously they do it a lot differently in, in the cafes. But I mean, look how beautiful that is. Here, give that a try, Julie. Let me know. Frothy. That is. Cheers. Great. Cheers, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's actually inspired by like just drinking mochas every day in Mexico <laughs> and like wanting it home. Like I can do this in the high bear, right? <laughs> but it's the beauty of it. It's just like, you don't, you, I mean, you can do like coffee any way that you want, but like when you do shaking coffees, it's just like a game changer. Um, and just to have a vessel that um, invites it and facilitates it in such an amazing way. Um, I mean, for me, like every morning, it's just like, it's a super, it's a treat. Like just the, the, the satisfaction, like there's that point of like when you're pouring, you're like, yes. Oh, this is what I want. Right. I know. Yeah, it's delicious. Victor, what's up, man? How's it going? Coffee and chocolate, two of my favorite things. We're like brothers from another mother, you know? Um, cool. So I think we're going to do a piece of trivia right now. Um, and we're going to give away a guide hat. So if you head to our website at High Bear Outdoors, um, dot com. We pinned a coupon code over on the right hand side for 20% off um, accessories and merchandise. Um, and if you pick up your adventure class and use that coupon code, um, let us know in the comments below and we'll throw some stickers your way as well. Um, and yeah, if you're just joining us, my name's Mark. I'm the founder here. And uh, this is the Swiss Army tool of insulated bottles. Um, we call it the all day adventure flask. And uh, so the trivia question is so first person to post the right answer in the chat. Um, we'll send them a guide hat. So what is the name of the limited edition one flask here? Um, and we'll send you uh, a guide hat in, in, the, in the gray. Um, and so first person that does that, we'll, we'll send that out to you. Let's see, crushing it. Oh my God, Michael Rangel's here, local celebrity, or I shouldn't say just high bear celebrity. What's going on, man? So good to see you, you know, pop in here. 
fantastic to, to have you. Awesome. Uh, Don Patrol, Caitlin Wallace. Oh my God, Caitlin. We, we love you here. Thank you for all your fantastic. Number one fan. Number one fan. We have, Caitlin, we love you. Send much love your way. I'm like heart emoji pressing my screen at you right now. So um, thanks for all of your updates. I'm so stoked that we're able to get you your adventure flask. A, a big shout out to um, all of our early backers and uh, you know supporters here at, at High Bear. So let's. Uh, do we have any other questions um, out there, Julie? Before we kind of decide to, to to wrap up, I don't think that we have anything left to left to go over. Yeah, Amy wants to see a close up of the art on the Dawn Patrol. Oh heck yeah, Amy! What's up? Uh, boom. So yeah, this is Garrett Effa taking you from Dawn to around the bear in some cool like salmon on the side and then the starry night on the other side remember this is like something that you're not always going to see you're going to have your wonderful sleeve on it that just gives you a great excuse to to always want to take that sleeve off and and uh you know show off your artwork so thanks amy appreciate it yeah i know that's it's hard to say that it's my favorite too but like you know it's it's so nice it's so beautiful it really really is i know the sunburst is just glorious lisa um, what about uh, give the people a close up of your new hat? Oh yeah. So this here. <laughs> so it's just a corduroy Sierra sipping hat in that mustard yellow. Um, Made in the USA. Yeah. Well, this is our collaboration with Desso, uh, and they helped us make these hats uh, in the USA. So we're really stoked about that as well. But um, I think that's all we, we have for you today. Um, so please go to highbearoutdoors.com um, and uh, pick up your very own adventure flask. Um, thank you all for, for supporting us today. A special shout out to, to YouTube um, and also the YouTube small business team. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. We're just very honored um, to be a part of this. And a really special thanks to all of you who joined us today. Everybody from Bettina to Amanda to Amy to Lisa to Caitlin, um, of course, Ryan Cooney, um, all of you that came out, um, our early backers from the crowdfunding campaign, our future customers, um, and uh, all of our friends and family. Love you, Anna. Um, thanks, guys. And we'll catch you out there in the great expanse. So thanks. Love you guys. We'll see you later. Bye.